Hi guys, thanks for checking out the channel. I'm Dan from Tring Shoe Repair and Key Shop. Have you ever wondered just how do people get their shoes so dang shiny? Well, keep watching and I'm going to show you how to do a quick mirror shine. Okay guys, so let's get started with a quick tutorial on the mirror shine. Working on a pair of Lokes here, and uh, they're okay, but uh, they haven't got a mirror shine. Now, uh, full disclosure, this is not a video on the best way to mirror shine your shoes. There are better ways to do it, but it takes longer, and that'll be a longer, more detailed video. This is how I do it to get the quickest mirror shine. It's only gonna take us about 10 minutes, and it's really not that less impressive than the, uh, the, you know, the, the more superior way that I would do it. So let's get started with what you're gonna need. So you're going to need a few items before you start your mirror shine. These would be a universal cleaner and an old rag, a leather nourishing cream. Uh, the brand we're using is Woli. The actual wax that we're going to use to make the polish, uh, we're using the brand Saphir. I mean, this really is the best stuff you can get. Kiwi works just fine. Any quality black polish will work fine for this job, but uh, if you want my recommendation, the Saphir is the best range. Lastly, and most importantly, a quality selvit cloth and our secret ice water. So this is literally just water and a couple of ice cubes. Okay guys, so the first thing we need to do to mirror shine our shoe is to take any of the old polish and wax off of the shoe so we've got a fresh leather surface to start with. So what we're gonna do is take our cleaner. This one is a universal one that you can pick up from us. You're just gonna use your old rag, get your cleaner on an old rag and really very liberally put it on and just get all over the shoe. Now once you've got the fluid on there, you can switch to a fresh piece of rag. So the rag actually picks up the old polish and takes it off. Okay. So once you're done, you should be able to see the grain of the leather. So we're going to let that dry just for a couple of minutes so that all of the solvent of the cleaner has evaporated. Now that that's dry, there's one thing we need to do before we start on our mirror shine, and that is to nourish the leather. So before we've got any wax on there, we're going to nourish the leather just to make sure it stays in a good condition, it's soft and it's not going to crack before we put a, a wax finish over the top of it that's going to last for a long time. So we're going to take our old rag again and grab our nourishing cream. So this is a brand Woli. It's just black. It's got black pigment in there. Um, the reason we use this is because it's full of oils that are going to really soak into the leather deep down inside, keep it soft, keep it conditioned so that it lasts a long time and doesn't crack. So I'm just going to rub that in. This can be liberal and wipe off any excess with a separate part of the rag. Let that dry for just a minute before we move on to the polish. Now that that's dry, we start with applying our wax. So, as I said earlier, we're using the Saphir Pat Deluxe Black. Now this really is the best stuff you can buy. Now, what we're going to do to start is called a layering process. So what we're doing is actually building up uh, multiple layers of wax that sits on the shoe, and that's what we're going to polish. We're not shining the leather, we're actually shining the wax. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to take two fingers, and you're going to grab the polish with your fingers nice and liberally, and just apply it to the toe cap. Okay, now the reason we use our fingers is because the heat from our fingers, rather than a cloth, is going to melt the wax as we go, and that melting is really going to soak it into the leather. Okay, now make sure you get all these edges and the toe. Now that's your first layer. If you want to be particular, you can let that dry for 30 seconds doesn't particularly matter. Now we're going to go again, more wax, and this is going to be a second layer. So we're just going over and over and over the top of top of top, making the wax thicker and thicker. Okay, this will be number three. Number four. Five, and I'm probably going to stop at about six layers on this shoe because 
this looks like it's going to polish up quite easily. Now, as for your polish, Kiwi is a very well-known brand. Kiwi works fine. I just find that the Saphir, you get a higher quality shine, and it's actually easier to achieve your shine. You find that the Saphir here really does polish up quicker just because it's got such a nice mix of ingredients and oils. The pigment of the colour is great. And the solvents in the wax. Now the solvents actually help the polish melt as you're popping it on. And that's it. Once we've got all of our wax on, we're going to let it dry. So we'll just sit that there. We're going to let it dry for... You know, if you're in a rush, five minutes. If you really want it to harden, give it 10 minutes. Okay, so we've left that a good 10 minutes or so. To check if your wax is dry, just pop a thumb or a finger on there, see if it leaves a thumbprint. If it leaves a thumbprint, it's not dry yet. Don't rush this step because this really is probably the most important thing. This is building up your foundation of what you're going to shine. So, now we can begin buffing off our wax. Now, this is where we take our ice water. We're going to use ice water to buff off the wax, and the reason we use ice is because we don't want to melt the wax whilst we're buffing it. So, you're going to take your two index fingers, wrap it around your fresh cotton rag, make sure it's nice and tight because this is going to be your, uh, your polishing tool, effectively. So, tiny, tiny dab of the ice water, just a bit, and then just start very gently, small circles, over your wax. As soon as you feel any resistance, tiny bit more ice water, carry on. Now this is going to take a while, patience is the key, but you just keep going and slowly but surely you should start to see your shine come through. Now, what I should mention is I'm using very light pressure on this. Imagine you're polishing an eggshell. Just enough to get some shine. We don't want to break it. So once you're happy that you've smoothed the wax and you see a shine starting to come through, that's when we're going to switch over to our selvet cloth. So now that we have our selvet cloth, we're going to do the same thing, two fingers, but this time we're going to add some more of the Pat Deluxe. Now we only need a tiny bit, a tiny bit goes an awful long way here, so literally just touch, just touch a few times and go back to the shoe. Same as before, very light pressure, small circles and we just keep going. Now you should be able to see the shine is starting to come up. We've still got a way to go. Now what I like to do is keep using a fresh piece of cloth. Some people don't. Personally, I find this makes all the difference and keep applying a tiny bit of the Pat Deluxe at a time and just keep going with that light touch. If at any time you feel like you're getting resistance on the polish, that is when you add a bit more of the water. So you would go dab a polish, drop of water and then you should feel it ease up. Personally, I don't know about you guys, but I find polishing shoes are very therapeutic. It's very relaxing. I mean, you can just get lost chasing that mirror shine. And the truth is you're never going to get there. You're never going to be satisfied. Um, even when you get a, a glass looking mirror shine, you always think you can do better. So 
what you really want to do is pop, pop it down on the floor every now and then, have a look at it from standing up and see if you're happy with it. But uh, no, if I've had a stressful day, I do find that giving the shoes a good polish really is a nice way to unwind. Now, we really are using the lightest touch at this point. I've probably repeated this step about eight times at this point. So eight, eight tiny coats, very light application of the Pat Deluxe, very light touch. You can do small circles. Personally, I prefer to just go back and forth, especially if we're doing a quick job. And to finish, once we've got that, to enough of a shine that we're happy with. To finish, we're gonna do one final coat of the Pat Deluxe. So we're just gonna pat it over, but this time we're going to find a clean section of our silver cloth and just with our hand, a speed polish. Just very quick to get some heat on there. We want heat, but we don't want a lot of friction, so it's still light. And there you have it, you should have a pretty good mirror shine by this point. So there you have it guys, quick effective mirror shine. I hope you can see alright on this camera, but uh, it does look really quite nice. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel where I'll have more videos on shoe repairs and key cutting. Thanks for checking out.